Now we're going to go ahead and worship the name of God. For those that are willing to surrender at his face. Aquí está, debemos mover, te adoraré, te adoraré. You are here, we see you, I worship you. Está, debemos mover, te adoraré, te adoraré. You are here, moving in our knees. I worship you, I worship you. Te llamamos milagroso, abres caminos, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así eres tú. Abres caminos, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así es tú. El Señor está en este lugar ante nosotros. The Lord is here in front of us. Y necesitamos de él. We need Lord Jesus in our life. Necesitamos a nuestro Señor Dios en nuestras vidas. Y para que eso pueda suceder. And for that to become true, we need to believe. Necesitamos creer, necesitamos adorar. Aquí está, debemos mover, te adoraré, te adoraré. You are Come 
amor milagroso abres caminos cumples promesas luz en tinieblas mi Dios así eres tú así eres tú that is who you are. I would invite you to kneel. Receive Jesus tonight. Just open your hearts. There's a lot of things we can leave behind tonight. And who knows what God wants to do this time? You know, there was the times when He came out to the crowds, and there were people there, literally, literally, that could not walk. They were just so paralyzed by their bodies. They couldn't walk until they met Jesus. But you know, you may be able to walk, but you may be paralyzed by your fear and shame. You might be paralyzed by a relationship that just got you stuck in life. You might be paralyzed by an anger that you just can't let go of. You might be paralyzed by an addiction that's just got like choking you out. You might be paralyzed by like fear and anxiety that sort of gets in the way of everything, that ruins every good day and every good plan that you have. Maybe you feel like the paralytic and then no one really even sees you. You could be in a room and there's people looking and they're just like having a good time with each other and they don't even realize how paralyzed you are, how stuck you are in life. Tonight, Jesus is going to speak, get up, get up. You don't have to live like that anymore. Get out. Whatever, whatever spirit is paralyzing you, get out. He will say, get out tonight. And he'll say to you, get up. Get up off of your mat when you go home tonight. And you don't have to live with that anymore. You can leave it right here with Jesus. Because it's the same Jesus that literally told that paralytic to get up. And notice how he worked. He said, you know, your sins are forgiven. And they, and they were thinking in their hearts, like, who can do that? Only God can do that. But he's God, so he could actually read their hearts. <laughs> he, they didn't have to speak it. He just looked right in their hearts. He's like, why do you say that in your hearts? But so that you will know that the Son of Man can forgive sins, which is really what paralyzes. It's, it's, in the end, it's sin that paralyzes. Because it's, it's grace that frees. And what did he say? He said, I... I came that you may have life and that like, you would have it in abundance. He wants us to be free. But will you just let yourself continue to be paralyzed by your sin? And you don't have to do that anymore. Like that's, you don't have to do that anymore. That's a choice. And you have a choice to say, Jesus, I'm tired. I'm like, I just, like son of David, have pity on me. And he says, he said to him, listen, get up. <laughs> get off of that mat that's got you paralyzed. You've been paralyzed for 30 years, for 30 years, for what was done to you when you were young. You've been paralyzed. And you don't have to lay on that mat anymore, that shame and that, that thing that has choked the, the freedom out of you. You do not have to live like that anymore because the Jesus Christ that told that guy that day in that room that was lowered down on the roof, get up, and the guy literally got up. All his life, he was on his back, and he got up because he believed that Jesus Christ could do that. That's my question to you. Do you believe we're about to bring that same Jesus Christ out here right now? Do you believe you, he could actually get up off of, off of the mat of your paralysis, of that pain and that shame and that sin that paralyzes you? Get up, get up and go home. And the guy literally got up and he went home.
son suyos Señor cuando te adoramos y yo doy gracias en este momento por este pueblo aquí esta noche como los pastores en Belén que corrieron a la cueva para adorarte que alegría se siente Señor cuando te adoramos en la sencillez en la humildad con corazón abierto y You, Lord, you bring this joy to our hearts, but really it brings joy to your heart when, like the shepherds, we run to you to adore you. They ran to you that night, literally ran in haste to just have a glimpse of your fresh and beautiful eyes, Lord, to have a glimpse at your presence. They ran and they... They even left what they were doing just to be with you. And just like that, the people who come here tonight, just like those shepherds, they left whatever they were doing just to be with you. <laughs> and what a gift, what a gift. They had, they glimpsed something that kings and princes, queens and courts from all over the world have traveled around the world to see and never saw. What monks 
from far off lands have climbed to the tops of mountains to try to find. <laughs> well, people have spent billions of dollars trying to discover a way to find a way of living without pain. And yet the shepherds saw something greater. <laughs> something greater was there in that cave in Bethlehem that night. They ran to you and looked upon the Word made flesh, God among us, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, love incarnate. How blessed they were, but as blessed as they were, more blessed are we who have not seen and yet have believed. Those are your words, Lord. <laughs> more blessed are we who have not seen and yet believe. Aún más bendecidos somos que no hemos visto y todavía creemos. Más bendecidos de los pastores en Belén son nosotros esta noche. Miramos tu corazón escondido en este pedazo de pan. Escondido como en la cueva de Belén. We look upon you hidden in this piece of bread. Hidden like the cave of Bethlehem. We had to leave behind what we were doing to see you. Thank you, Jesus. Let us leave behind also what we've been doing for too long, what we've been gripping onto, all that fear, all the shame, all the sorrow, all the guilt, all the sin, all the past that just gets in the way of looking upon you with love. Let us be like those two lovers, Lord, that just looked upon each other and could gaze into their eyes all night, all night, just to gaze upon one another was all they desired. Can we be like that with you tonight? May we just gaze upon you. And may that satisfy our heart's desire. Let us leave behind what does not belong to you so that we can look upon what is good what is true and what is beautiful. For before our face, if we had the eyes of the saints, we would see love blazing, blazing from this monstrance. We would be blown away with the love and the beauty of your presence. Give us a, a taste of that tonight. May we taste you tonight. May we touch you tonight. Give us a taste of your love. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Gracias. Amen.
Oh Jesus, I am yours. Tu gracia abunda en la tormenta. Tu mano, Dios, me guiará. Ojos fijaré en tempestad, descansaré en tu poder, pues tú yo soy hasta el final, uh, hasta el final. Jesus, what does it mean that I am yours and you are mine? ¿Qué es el significado de que tú yo soy Señor y tú eres mi yo? This incredible mystery that God, the all-powerful, the omniscient, the omnipresent would 
worry about my little speck of existence. El hecho de, el, de que el Señor se preocupa por este miserable ser es, es una maravilla, es un misterio, es difícil de captarlo. It's like, it's like most of the world today, it's like they're like projecting, they're like fronting. I'm good, I'm good, I got it together, I'm, I love myself, I got, you know, positive, all this other stuff. But you, you break through that and there's like an emptiness and like honestly like a feeling of just being an orphan. Like deep down, that statement is the most difficult for us to believe. I am yours and you are mine. Cristiano, medite el gran misterio, el escándalo de Dios. De que Él se da y de que tú lo puedes recibir. This incredible mystery that He comes to us. He knows everything. Everything. And He's like, yeah, it doesn't scare me away. I know. And we're like, but don't you want to leave? Like, if you really knew me, if you really knew me, you wouldn't say I am yours and you are mine, God. Let me put my makeup on. Let me put, let me straighten out my hair. Let me get ready. Then you will receive me. And God be like, actually, I kind of like your morning face better. It's like we can't even... Like his love is just too crazy. Like we can't even process this love. I am yours and you are mine. Meditando este gran misterio. Es como nosotros nos vamos a quedar en una alta admiración por el hecho de la encarnación. No solo que nació, que tomó carne, eso, eso, eso estuviera suficiente, pero de que Él se humilló, que su madre lo puso en un pesebre donde comen las vacas. Saliva de burro estaba allí Y ahí estaba Dios Emmanuel, Dios con nosotros Jesús, Yeshua Dios salva En esta noche en que estamos aquí Delante del Señor yo les quiero invitar que ustedes simplemente piden por la gracia de asombro. No de una sombra, that's something else. Pero de asombro. De ese factor de wow. De simplemente meditar este gran regalo. Y de quedarnos en esta admiración ¿Tú lo hiciste por mí? ¿Tú viniste por mí? ¿Me viniste a rescatar? ¿Tú, ¿Tú entregaste tu vida por mí? ¿Tú dejaste el cielo por mí? En verdad es difícil de entender Pero así es el amor el amor tiene razones que la razón no entiende y parece no entendible este amor de un Dios que ama a sus hijos.
Let us pray for that grace of wonder to just be astounded by how God comes to us. He, he's like concerned about me. And he is. My brother, my sister, let's just continue to pray and praise. Seguimos cantando y meditando sobre este gran, este gran, gran hecho. Everything belongs to Jesus for Him my everything. Repeat after me. Everything belongs to
for thee my everything everything belongs to Jesus for thee my everything thank you Jesus Jesus you gave us everything you were not cheap in how you poured your love out you gave it all you gave us everything and couldn't we just give it back? Why do we hold on to it? Let us not be cheap in our love for you, Lord. Let us not be cheap with our love. You gave it all. May our love cost us. Like that widow who put it all in. She put it all in. She had nothing left. She gave it all to you. It cost her. You gave it all, Lord. You gave it all. And it cost you. And let us give our lives back to him. Let us not be cheap in our love. Why do we hold back? Why do we hold back when God calls you? He calls you out. He calls you out. He's calling you out right now. He's calling you out right now. he's given you. Love calls on love to give back. What are you holding back from God? What is keeping you from holding yourself back from God? He might be calling you for literally to lay your life down in love. He might call you on mission. He might call you to consecrate your entire body to him as a religious sister and brother, as a priest might call you to lay your life down in marriage to give up your selfish plans where are they going to get you where are you going anyways with those selfish plans he gave it all it's time to give back what is his our very self this night Lord this Lord that I want to raise up right now the hearts of every person in this church tonight Come, they've left things behind to come to be with you. I want to just give a word tonight, Lord. I just, I believe, Lord, that you're going to work something in someone's heart tonight that will stay with them forever the rest of their life. I really believe that someone's going to receive something tonight that will stay with them the rest of their life. Because you, you did that to the paralytic. They stay with him the rest. He never forgot that encounter with you. And this night, Lord, as they come to receive that encounter with you, I want to say that, that there's someone who's carrying a sadness. There's a sadness in someone's heart tonight that is just like a stone in your heart. And you feel like it's never going to leave you. That's a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. Do not accept the lie. Reject the lie. That sadness that is like a stone in your heart, like a peso. Hay una tristeza en el corazón de alguien esta noche que tú no pienses que puedes salir. Es una mentira. Y estamos llamando la verdad o estamos diciendo la verdad a esta mentira que esta, esta tristeza tiene que salir esta noche this, this sadness must go tonight you give it over to Jesus he will take it from you he took it on the cross he's going to take that sadness that is just choking the life out of you there's somebody tonight who's just wrecked just wrecked they put on a good face but they're just wrecked inside and the Lord wants to just you to come and rest in him tonight. Just lay your wrecked heart down tonight. Alguien como completamente agobiada por la vida esta noche. Dios quiere que tú entregues su corazón a él esta noche. I want to speak into somebody who once thought of suicide. That's here tonight. You once thought of suicide. And you know who you are. You know who you are. You, you didn't think anybody really recognized it. But you once thought of suicide, and Jesus knows that. And you don't have to be afraid of that shame. You do not have to be afraid of that fear anymore. You once thought about it, and you really thought about it. You wanted to end it, because you didn't see any way out. And you're looking right now, if you just open your eyes, 
They were closed, but you can open them and you can look right upon the way out. He is the way out of that hole that you were in. Yeah, you might be angry. You might be angry about what happened, but look upon the way out of the hole that you were in. He is the way. He called himself. He said it to us. His word is true. He said, I am the way. He is the way out of your hole. He is the way out of what trapped you. You'd never have to think about that again. That can just be a bad memory. You just bring it to confession, get it out, and never think about it again. And stay on the way out. Stay on the way out. There's one, there's one here tonight who was so hurt, who was so hurt. A relationship that has hurt them so deeply. You don't think you can actually ever recover from it. You are so hurt from that relationship. You don't think you'll ever recover from it. Lay it down. Lay it down tonight. There's no no sense anymore in trying to fix it or think about it over and over again. It's killing you. It's killing you. That hurt from that relationship is killing you. Stop it. Stop thinking of it. Stop it. Get it out. Lay it down. You make a new relationship tonight. You're going to make a relationship tonight. You can make a relationship tonight with love. (laughs) Because that pill is not going to fix it. You're you're not going to fix it in any other way. You drank it. Your sorrow's down. That's not going to fix it. That relationship is never going to fix itself. Let it go. Let it go. And start a new relationship with the only one who will only love it. The safest place for you tonight is right here with Jesus Christ. The safest place for you tonight is in the heart of Jesus Christ. He's the only one who will never reject you, never hurt you like you've been hurt. He will never hurt you. You know who you are. Lay that down tonight. Stop thinking of it. And let Jesus start a new relationship. Something new is going to come in tonight. Start something new with him tonight. There's somebody here tonight that you started young. And you thought it was fun, but now you just can't live without that fix. You started young and you thought it was fun, but you can't live without that fix. And now you hate it, you hate it, you hate it. You hate that you have to live with that. You hate that that's just sucking you down. (laughs) And I'm just saying right now, you don't have to live with it anymore. Literally, literally Jesus Christ can answer that that hole in your heart that just is just sucking you down. And you hate it. You don't have to live like that anymore. You can kill that addiction. You can kill that addiction right now. You can literally lay it down. Stop this moment and just literally ask him, just Jesus, I can't do this. It's bigger than me. Stop it and just give it to him. Just lay it down. Hand it over. Just literally say, I can't do this. Jesus, you have to fix me. And the Lord that literally raises the dead, that makes blind see, that literally healed leper sores, that got the paralytics up off the mat, he can fix your addiction. You can get help. You can reach out. You don't have to be shy. You're gonna need help. You will need help. Give it to Jesus and then get help. You don't have to live like that anymore. You can literally be a testimony. This time next year, you can give testimony about what he did to you, what he started to do with you this night. Break that addiction. Let it go. Let it go. Leave it behind. Just give it to Jesus. Jesus can do it. Nothing, nothing is impossible for God. And finally, there's one here tonight. She's just been lonely. You're just lonely. (laughs) Like so many people have been lonely over this time of quarantine. 
but yours is kind of like an ache and it's just, it's like a heartache. You just have like a heartache of loneliness. <laughs> and even when you're around people, you're still lonely. And, I, and there's really no cure for that other than what you're looking at right now. Only Jesus Christ can fill up the lonely heart. Only our Lord has the grace to fill up that loneliness. You don't, you could even be, if you have him, if you have him, if you like allow this to happen, you could be alone in your room and you're gonna be totally content. You will not have that loneliness anymore. And it starts tonight, just open your heart to receive him tonight. And that, that deep, deep fear, that deep fear that's underneath your anxiety, underneath that anxiety that's on the surface, that you have that anxiety right now, there's a deep fear. Kill the fear in Jesus Christ. Just ask him, just say, Christ, I, Jesus, I, I'm so tired of being afraid. I hate this anxiety, and I'm just gonna give that fear to you. For faith in you, Jesus, I just, I surrender, son of David, have pity on me. And you're gonna have to just take that fear away. I can't get rid of it. And nothing I do gets rid of it. So I'm gonna give it to you tonight. I'm just gonna learn how to trust, even like a child learns how to walk on those waters. Just like I gotta keep my eyes on you and just walk like a child. And I gotta get rid of the fear. You can just take that fear tonight, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you for those words tonight, Lord. And I ask now as they come forward to receive this blessing, that you would make those words into a reality, that you would make that healing into a reality, that you would make your truth and your life in abundance into a reality, that you would like literally like lift the paramedics off the ground. <laughs> they would walk out of here and walk home, Lord, actually healed and forgiven. I remind you that if you desire confession, you can lay those burdens down still over to the left, you can go to confession. But right now, you, you're gonna receive a blessing from Jesus. And I invite you to just open your heart and receive. Open it wide. Open the doors of your heart wide to receive that blessing so you can walk out of here and that, that para paralysis doesn't have to choke you out. Tú no tienes que ser paralítico no más. De Jesús entrar y quitar ese obstáculo y sanarte. Gracias, Señor Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you. As I go forward, I'm gonna raise up the monstrance and come forward. I would invite, you know, people just to come up and just kneel here, you know. If you can't kneel, you can stand like about six feet apart and just receive a blessing. For just a short period of time, the Lord will be there. And you can ask him and say to him whatever you want. You know, the woman that was bleeding for 12 years, she literally just touched the tassel of his cloak and she was healed. So just kind of with that same spirit, just reach out to him and let him heal you tonight. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. can invite the servers to help the people to come up to kneel and spread out.
It's who you are. It's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. See many searching for answers. For Searching for answers, we will provide because you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are.
Dios Padre te pedimos por favor que sigas pronunciando tu bendición sobre nosotros Continue Lord God to speak forth your fatherly blessing over us Your fatherhood gives us our identity Your fatherhood restores us Your fatherhood heals that which is broken Gracias Señor y sigue derramando Señor esta gracia de este amor paterno que nuestro corazón tanto anhela oh how our hearts are longing for this healing fatherly love Lord God does it exist yes it does exist this loving fatherly love put this in our hearts Lord God ponga este amor Señor este amor paterno en nuestros corazones Señor cuántas veces hemos buscado este amor en cosas pasajeras we have looked Lord God in places that we could not find this love but it is here help us Lord God to rediscover this and thus discover who we really are The impossible, it is possible in the presence of my Lord. The impossible, it is possible in the presence of my Lord. Lo imposible. Es posible en tu presencia, mi Señor. Lo imposible es posible en tu presencia, mi Señor. It is possible in the presence of my Lord. The impossible, it is possible in the presence of my Lord. Si conocieras como te amo, si conocieras como te amo, dejarías de vivir sin amor. Si conocieras como te amo, si conocieras como te amo, dejarías de mendigar cualquier amor. Si conocieras como te amo, como te amo, serías más
conocieras como te busco, si conocieras como te busco, escucharías más mi voz. Si conocieras como te busco, si conocieras como te busco, dejarías que te alcanzara mi voz. Si conocieras como te busco, como te busco, escucharías más de mí. Si conocieras como te sueño, si conocieras como te sueño, me preguntarías lo que espero de ti. De ti. Si conocieras como te sueño, si conocieras como te sueño, buscarías lo que Sueño, pensarías más en mí. Porque tengo miedo si nada es imposible para ti. Porque tengo miedo si nada es imposible para ti. Porque tengo miedo si nada es imposible para ti. Porque tengo miedo si nada es imposible. Es imposible para ti. Nada es imposible para ti. Porque tengo tristeza. Si nada es imposible para ti, porque tengo tristeza. Si nada es imposible para ti, porque tengo tristeza. Si nada es imposible para ti, porque tengo tristeza. Si nada es imposible para ti, nada es imposible para ti. Nothing is impossible for you, Lord. Why, why am I afraid to walk forward? Why am I afraid so much to be who you really want me to be? Because you are there. You are my shelter. You are the rock. You are that rock that that gives meaning to my life. Someone that I can hold on to.
because nothing is impossible for you. Even if I, at one point of my life, believe that there's nowhere to go, that there's nothing to do, you are there and you've always been there for me because nothing is impossible for you. Imaginemos por un segundo esos pastores que recibieron una visita de un ángel Y ese ángel con gran gozo les invitó que adoraran al niño Dios Eran pocos esa noche pero llegaron apresurados Tal vez no somos muchos en esta noche Pero el Señor está aquí Y podemos seguir adorándolo Con ese mismo gozo y entusiasmo Del ángel que les anunció a esos pastores Podemos ser esos pastores esta noche Alabando a nuestro Dios Que está aquí presente en la Eucaristía Hermanos y hermanas, en agradecimiento seguimos cantando a nuestro Señor.
de palabras que puede expresar lo que siento tan grande es este sentimiento que sobrepasa mi razón llegas a mi vida cuando más te necesitaba mi alma grita usted llamaba Tú escuchaste mi clamor Yo solo sé que Te necesito porque Yo te amo Con toda mi mente Con todas mis fuerzas Con todo mi corazón Yo Sobre todas las cosas Te amo a ti Señor En ti descubrí La grandeza de amar Sin medidas En ti conocí La verdad que le dio Libertad a mi vida Y tú me salvaste y cómo agradecerte No, 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 no No será suficiente Cuanto pueda amarte Cuanto pueda verte Yo solo sé que Te necesito porque Yo Con todo mi corazón Yo te amo Como jamás se había amado Por 
sobre todas las cosas Te amo a ti, Señor Te amo a ti, Señor I love you all, my love Mis fuerzas. Con todo mi corazón, yo te amo como jamás sabía. Por sobre todas las cosas, te amo a ti. Señor, con toda mi alma. Lord, I love you with all my mind, with all my strength, and with all my heart. I love you as I had never ever loved. Above everything else, I will always love you, my Lord. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your love. Te damos gracias, Señor, por tu amor. Lord God, this is what we are looking for. This is what we're longing for. This is what we're hurting for. Esto es lo que estamos buscando, Señor, lo que por lo que muchas veces nos nos quebramos buscando este amor, nos nos botamos buscando algo, Señor, que está aquí. Tu amor está aquí. When you said, Lord, that how I have longed to celebrate this Passover meal with you. Cuando dijiste, Señor, en el Evangelio de Juan, cómo he deseado celebrar esta Pascua con ustedes. Tú nos querías dar, Señor, tu cuerpo y tu sangre. You wanted to give us, Lord God, your body, blood, soul, and divinity. Y Señor, tú estás aquí, aquí presente. And Lord God, every single one of us was wandering around thinking that we knew what we were doing until we found you and it's like everything changed. Everything changed. Anteriormente nosotros estamos en otros rumbos pensando que teníamos felicidad, que teníamos lo que buscábamos. Y el Señor nos esperó, el Señor tuvo su paciencia con nosotros, el Señor. Pero el momento. Y cuando al fin nosotros nos dimos cuenta de su amor, todo cambió. It's like, with like Saint Augustine, we say, Too late have I loved thee, Lord God. Too late have I loved thee. Tarde, Señor, te he amado. Tarde, Señor, te he amado. So my brothers and sisters, we're making up for lost time right here. We're making up for the lost time and the lost years, the lost days when we were confused, following other things. Now we follow his love. Ahora lo que buscamos es su amor. Y buscamos como alguien más puede recibir su amor es nuestro deseo es nuestro propósito gracias Señor gracias me viste a mí cuando nadie me vio 
Me amaste a mí cuando nadie me amó. Me viste a mí cuando nadie me vio. Me amaste a mí cuando nadie me amó. Me viste a mí. Cuando nadie me vio, me amaste a mí. Cuando nadie me amó, me viste a mí. Cuando nadie me vio, me amaste a mí. Cuando nadie me y me dice el nombre, yo soy tu niña, la niña de tus ojos, porque me amaste a mí. Y me dice el nombre, yo soy tu niña, la niña de tus ojos. Porque me amaste a mí, me amaste a mí, me amaste a mí, me amaste a mí, me amaste a mí. Te amo más que a mi vida. Te amo más que a mi vida. Te amo más que a mi vida más. Cántalo. Te amo más que a mi vida. Te amo más que a mi vida. Te amo más que a mi vida más. Cántalo. Te amo más que a mi vida. Te amo más que a mi vida. Más. Y me diste nombre. Yo soy tu niña, la niña de tus ojos, porque me amaste a mí. Ojos, porque me amaste a mí, 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 me amaste a mí.
Yo soy tu niña, la niña de tus ojos, porque me amaste a mí. Love me, Lord. You love me, Lord. You love me, Lord. Canta na 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 A gloria Oh, 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 oh,
How powerful is Jesus, right? myself away I give myself away so you can use me give myself away I give myself away so you can use me Give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. Here I am, here I stand, Lord. bought at a price, my brothers and sisters, because above that Eucharist, 
you look upon. You just look a little higher. Just look a little higher. And there it is right there. There's nothing greater. There's nothing greater. There's no love greater than to give yourself away, to lay down your life for your friends. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? There is no love greater than this, to lay down your life for your friends. It was never ours to begin with. <laughs> Why not make a gift? Give it away. Because if you hold on to it, you're never going to have it. No, if you're going to follow the one who said, <laughs> he who follows me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. And if he who saves his life for this world will lose it. Yeah, and all those selfish things, we save our lives and we lose our lives. It's lost. We can't get it back. Lord, like the prophet Joel said, restore the years, the locusts have eaten. We can pray that prayer with the prophet Joel, but we can't go back. All we can do is look forward to the cross and give it away. Because he said, if you lose your life for my sake, if you lose it, you lay it down and you give it away, you will find it. You will find it because you're looking for meaning in your life. You haven't found the meaning in your life. If one thing you're going to hear tonight that you take away from tonight, this encounter with love, it's this invitation to give yourself away for him. If you can hear these words, if you're listening to my voice, I want you to know the Father desires that you hear tonight, I love you. I love you. That I love you. You've drowned it out with noise and sound and phones and media and distractions and worries and frustrations and, and isolation. You've drowned it out. The voice that had been trying to get through you, the voice of God trying to break through. Well, tonight you left it behind to come here to be with him. And if you can leave one thing tonight here, leave it tonight. Leave here tonight and listen to this voice of God that says, I love you. Esta voz de Dios que quiere decirte esta noche, te amo. Te amo, mi hija. Te amo, mi hijo. Te amo. Te amo. Te amo. My daughter, my son, I love you. Give yourself away for that love. That's the only love that makes sense. And make a gift of yourself. Make a gift of yourself this night. In Jesus' name we pray. given them bread from heaven, having all sweetness within it. Stay kneeling as I say this prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament, of your body and your blood, help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Please repeat after me. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen. fuerte ese aplauso al Señor Jesús por esa presencia. Dele fuerte ese aplauso, dele fuerte, fuerte. ¿Y quién es el que vive? Cristo. Y ese gozo que siento yo, solo Cristo me lo dio. Yo no sé, hermano, pero el gozo del mundo, eso no hay gozo, solo Cristo Jesús nos da ese gozo. Amén. Amén. Amén.
Shepherds, you're the chosen ones, so everybody be safe tonight. Todo tiene una seguro viaje a la casa. Y gracias. Hasta próxima vez. Bendición. Buenas noches. Sí. Thank you.